brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Just in time for summer. It's something that's long awaiting. You know, of course, I, I apologize to the community of Guam for the uh, delay. For the last eight months, the Ganya pool was closed mostly due to repairs on the motor. Starting Tuesday, Department of Parks and Recreation's director Robert Lazama says pool patrons can return to their favorite spot. So come on down and cool down. Approximately $273,000 in repairs and renovations were made during the closure. Hotel occupancy tax bonds covered the motor repairs and gaming tax funds covered the rest, like renovations to the restrooms, shower and locker rooms, and to the pool shell. When the, the pool was drained, uh, that's when we realized that that's where a lot of cracks are at. At the same time, that's, uh, that's evident with the, the water bill that we have to pay, you know, because of course the, the constant leak. Swimmers can also take advantage of extended hours thanks to additional lighting. We're realizing now that we're able to at least extend beyond 6 o'clock on, week, on weekdays and, and have it all the way up to 8 p.m. at night. We have lighting now that's in the pool, you know, uh, donated by MDA. We, we thank them for their generosity. Prior to reopening on Tuesday, Governor DeCalvo took a walkthrough of the renovated facility. This is a commitment for our administration uh, to improve the quality of life for everyone in this island, and that also means uh, many of our recreational facilities uh, and our parks. For this week and for this week alone, pool goers can purchase their pool passes at the entrance. $2 for a day pass or $10 for a six-day pass. Starting next week, Tuesday, however, you'll have to drive up to the Department of Parks and Recreations in Aganya Heights to purchase your pool passes. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.